So this video is going to be about how to do a jigsaw puzzle. I'll also talk about some tips and some tricks when you're doing a jigsaw puzzle. So the first step is to take everything out of the box. And my puzzle has already been separated into edges and centerpieces. If yours is not already separated, this will have to be an extra step for you to do. But the first thing I like to do is I like to take the edge pieces and I like to lay them out. I make sure they're all face up so I can see the patterns. And then I try to locate the four corners. This is helpful to start because it will give you some structure and give you a starting point. So once I have all four of my corners, I like to lay out some pieces that I know the orientation of. So I look for the tops of trees, um, people standing, buildings, and things like that. And then I start to put the edges together. Once I have the edges all put together, I dump out the bag with the centerpieces and I lay them all out. I again make sure they're all face up so I can see all the patterns. And I try not to have them overlapping each other. So here's all the pieces laid out. You can see all the patterns. And it's nice to have a dark background so that you can see each piece, the color and the shape of them. So here I decided that I was gonna start with the big centerpiece of the puzzle. This is gonna be a map. And so I took all the pieces that looked, that had that pattern on it and I pulled those out. So once I had all the pieces pulled out, I was able to start putting things together. I looked for smaller pictures within the, the map to try and match up. And I find it easiest to match patterns together rather than just doing single pieces because it gives you a smaller task and then once you complete that smaller task, it's easier to complete your puzzle. So to complete the jigsaw puzzle, it's really just a repeated process. Once you finish a chunk, you'll want to, again, look for a very distinct pattern. You'll want to locate those pieces, pull them out, and then you'll want to complete that chunk of the puzzle. Some other tips I have is to start with chunks that are really unique. So if you're doing like an underwater ocean puzzle, it's probably not best to start with the wide open ocean. There's going to be a lot of the same color and it's going to be difficult to find pieces that fit together. It's better to find a pattern or a color that stands out that you can easily identify, pull out, and then connect those pieces together. Another tip I have is to use soft lighting. I don't have an option for soft lighting in my house. So if you look at the puzzle, you do see a bit of a glare and it can be difficult to see the patterns on the puzzle pieces because the puzzle pieces are shiny. Um, another tip is if the piece doesn't fit, don't try to force it. Puzzle pieces should fit together seamlessly and easily and forcing those pieces together can just ruin your puzzle. The last tip I have is really for larger puzzles. This puzzle was only 500 pieces, but sometimes when you get up into the thousands, it's really difficult to see all the pieces because your table just isn't big enough. So cookie sheets, um, cardboard, stronger paper, like cardstock, can all be used to organize your pieces and move them around when necessary. So I just put in the last piece. My puzzle is now complete. And that is how you do a jigsaw. I hope you found it helpful.